and welcome to today's Tuesday tip. Today we have a tip from Mark. Mark says, good morning, Ms. Bell. I wonder if you could help me clarify something for this most recent EIV notice. I want to give our folks here in Connecticut the best information and the best update possible. The question, if owner agents ran reports and found stale data and kept those EIV reports according to listserv number 411 for the file audit, now that a new listserv is out, how would the issue be resolved? Do we have to go back and run the old reports or can we move forward? Mark, thank you for that question. That is a good question and you're not the only one with it. But the answer is move forward. The first RIP listserv came out and told us that EIV was having problems with the report. It didn't happen to everyone, but it happened to quite a few properties. You are supposed to print a copy of the report as it is. Staple that RIP listserv notice to the stale documentation. Keep it in your files and that's all you needed to do. Well now the new RIP listserv tells us that the problem with EIV has been corrected. So moving forward on those reports that you run monthly or quarterly or annually, this is what we're expected to do. We don't have to go backwards. We have that information and we have a staple copy of the lit serve to it. We're going to move forward and we're going to run our reports according to our EIV policies and procedures. Thank you so much, Mark. That was a great question, as I said. I have one other one, and this one is from Sharon. Sharon wants to know that the public housing will ban smoking. They have a non-smoking policy for public housing effective August the 1st. I have a multifamily property. Does that affect me? The answer is no. HUD issued the smoking ban effective for August the 1st for public housing only. However, multifamily properties do have a smoking ordinance that they could use, but it's not a ban, at least not yet. So the answer is, if you have public housing, you have to follow the no smoking policy issued by HUD that was effective August the 1st. If you have a multifamily Section 8 property, you do not. In either case, you have to give your residents notice. And hopefully that helps you a lot, Sharon. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's Tuesday Tip, and we look forward to seeing you next Tuesday. Have a good one.